Hello Libra, and welcome to your month ahead forecast. We're going to draw one love oracle for each week, and then we'll get into the tarot to clarify. So for the first week, you've got signs and synchronicities, some kind of interesting coincidence, meaningful coincidence, signals from the universe. You're getting some hints and messages coming through for you. You're picking up on some downloads. You're starting to see signs and synchronicities related to this relationship. You're in alignment with this. Okay. So in week two, you're afraid of something. There's some fear. It's very uneasy, scared, suspicion. Okay, we'll get into that with the tarot. Week number three is too much. There's a magnetic attraction there. We'll see what really wants to come out. It could be to do with finances, financial issues, divine intervention. It seems like there's a lot coming out in week three. A lot of anticipation in week two, but... Week three has a lot of energy behind it right now. So some kind of event, maybe. So you may have um, premonition of this in week one. You have a premonition. Week two, you're nervous about it because you know you just had this premonition. Week three, it might actually happen. And then week four, between the lines... That's vague, very vague. Reading between the lines about something. Um, can we get, okay, legal matters, balance, judgment, divorce, justice, and one more, magnetic attraction. We saw that earlier. Alluring, lust, irresistible, flirting. surrender letting something go it's vague it doesn't make sense there's something confusing about it having to find some patience here somebody's involved in a legal situation there may be a divorce and it's costing a lot of money for them or this is something that they have experienced already or okay in the first week, you've got the Emperor, Two of Cups, and Judgment with signs and synchronicities. Realizing that you have an intense soulmate connection with this partner, with this person. And I think that you both understand this. You're thinking a lot about it. Someone's being really quiet about it. And, oh boy, this is where it starts to get into the fear. Because something about it feels kind of, um, it feels off. It feels sneaky. It feels dishonest. Someone is heavily thinking about this relationship. But keeping a lot of their feelings and thoughts to themselves. Trying to be clear about this. Coming to some kind of agreement trying to be fair, trying to keep it cool, keep it balanced, but getting some kind of signal here from the universe, seeing some kind of premonition that may be attached to this second week leading into being afraid. Okay. Can we um, clarify week number three? Or sorry, I keep going into week number three. It's like that's the big one. Let's let's clarify week number one though. Can we get some? What is the sign in synchronicity? What is the sign that Libra is going to see from the universe? Yeah, from the world. A sign from the universe that something is over or that it's coming full circle. The moon premonition. You're having some kind of premonition sign yeah it's just repeating itself you're not supposed to know you have a really powerful psychic insight so if you're meditating in week one practicing stillness silence and solitude in week one you know that you have this connection with this person you know that this may be like a soulmate or it's an important person in your life you're very attracted to each other it's mutual but you are being very quiet about this meditating on it and in the course of your meditation practice 
you have some kind of an insight, epiphany. It may be when you're out for a walk. Okay, you might be like out for a walk and you realize something, you see something in the universe, in the environment. You have a premonition. Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. New job, something new that you're working on. Working on something new, you know it's going to be successful. Yeah. You realize it's going to be successful financially. So what is the fear all about? What's going on in the second week with the, with the fear? Why are you afraid? Why are you... What's so suspicious about week number two? Afraid that this financial situation is not going to work out? Okay. The devil, the page of swords, the ace of swords. That someone's going to find out the truth. And this is all going to be ruined. That someone's going to figure figure it out. And you don't want this to end. At all. Again, four of swords. Trying to stay calm. Trying to keep your feelings to yourself. Trying to contemplate what this means for you something that you don't want to have happen in week number two. You're afraid that something's going to happen before you get the money. You're afraid something's going to be ruined. It's not going to work out. You, th you think that this is going to be good. Part of you knows that it's going to work out, but you're afraid that it's not. And you have to wait. You have to be very patient. You're waiting for this and you are tracking it. Like you are... Someone's obsessively like refreshing a page um, or like checking on the, I'm just seeing a tracking number and somebody's like constantly checking to see the progress on their tracking number or something like that. Literally or maybe figuratively, it doesn't have to be literally. It could just be like you're, someone's obsessively watching to find out the truth and they find out someone is spying, watching afraid that somebody's spying or watching and, and it's going to be revealed. I don't know what it would be, but I guess if you've got some kind of a secret, then you don't want it to come out because it could cause problems in some kind of legal situation. You know, reading between the lines, you know that somebody is super attracted to you. It's reciprocated. There's a magnetic attraction here. We're getting ahead of ourselves. There's a lot of, but there's lust. And there's the devil, so it's like there's this lustful energy here. This air sign, Libra, this earth sign. Someone's trying to stay calm and be strategic or plan for the future, like plan ahead. Planning ahead for some kind of disaster, planning ahead with, it's like trying to get insurance. You're afraid of something so, you're taking out like life insurance because you're afraid you're going to die or I don't know what. That's what I've got for week two. So let's get into this week three, this financial legal matters, material justice. Are you winning a lawsuit? Are you okay? You're happy with this outcome. This four of swords has come out so many times. It's about fairness. It's about a win-win situation. It's about a contract or an agreement. It's about decisions that need to be made. It's about inner peace, clarity of mind. It's about meditation. It's about spending time in sol solitude, silence, and stillness, getting clear about something. And with this 10 of cups, it just feels like there's a really positive outcome. This is going to be good, but you're afraid that it's not. So can we get a little bit more? So it looks like a judgment goes in your favor. This is a good outcome for you. You're pleased with it. You've been waiting for this. You get what you've been waiting for. This money, this decision, this legal matter, this justice, money problems, something six. Okay. This could be success. It's either problems or success. And now I'm starting to think it might be success. Like you finally get your divorce, right? You've been wanting to get a divorce and now it's finally happening and you're getting money. And now the money's going through. 
and now you are flirting with someone else or you're connecting with somebody else that is very irresistible and alluring and you have a lot of there you go justice and two of pentacles this is a legal decision that changes for the better this is something coming into balance this is victory you're going towards victory you get victory in a situation then you're able to walk away it's like you're getting a divorce and you're happy about it. This is a decision that goes in your favor. Yeah. It's serious and now you can choose to look forward to this new love with this devil, this Capricorn. You're in love with somebody else. You're walking away. You're choosing to walk away towards something that really makes you happy, that you really want, that you really desire. You're making a choice. Maybe some kind of financial situation has been a problem or you're worried that the finances are going to be a problem, but it gets sorted out. You figure it out. You solve it. Whatever that is, you solve for it. Contemplating this love relationship, having a lot of feelings for this person, getting that, yeah, getting that premonition, that sign. Okay. Okay. So that was week number three. Do we need me? I feel like we need one more for week number three. Can we just get a little bit more for week number three? I feel called. There's just so much going on. So it just felt like such a release of energy. I'm seeing a big release or a relief in week number three. And I think you're going to be happy with the outcome of this decision. There's that four of swords again. The affirmation for this card is I am at peace within myself. I'm going to read from the book for you. Okay, this is taking it easy, taking it slow with the um, Knight of Pentacles, but it's also unstoppable. This is like unshakable inner peace. But I'm going to read something from the book because that Four of Swords keeps coming out. Deep peace is feeling your heart. Let's see, calm, centered, clarity, spiritual cleansing, integration, and expansion. Worries have been conquered. The clarity of the Ace of Swords has been regained. You're overcoming these problems. This is not going to stop you. You're like unstoppable. And there's the High Priestess. There she is. So it's like, this is meditation. This is stillness, silence, confidence, self-sufficiency, and psychic integration. You're getting a victory and you're walking away. And you know this. And you're at peace with yourself. It's a prosperous solution it's a fortunate good luck it's a good solution it's the problem is solved whatever this problem is it gets solved examine very carefully the possibility that disturbing influences are already present but merely hidden for the moment by recognizing these in time you will be able to rob them of their disruptive power so whatever this is you're um you're unshakable this is not going to rob you. You're going to end up robbing them or something. I don't know. It's disruptive, but it's not going to be. It, it's possible that, yeah, it's like you're afraid that this is going to happen, but then it doesn't happen and you solve the problem and it's okay. So check your surroundings and rearrange them to support calm and centeredness. You have the inner clarity to successfully carry out your plans. Be sure at all times that you feel good about what is happening. So you're going to have what you need to carry out your plans. Just make sure this is what you really, really want, okay? You're attracting somebody here, but there, it's, there's still something hidden at the end of the month. Implicit or vague. It's not explicit. So I don't see you in a new relationship by the end of the month, but I see you making an important decision or some kind of important decision goes in your favor and you are connecting with somebody that's very attractive to you and attracted to you and you find them that way they find you that way and we're gonna get into week number four because I feel like this carries over week three carries over into week four It's like you were afraid you were not going to have the money to do what you wanted to do, but then you have more than enough. It balances out and it works out for you. Something like that, right? It's like I'm getting this idea in my mind. This storyline is coming to me, so this might be useful. Um, you want to travel. 
And you have to make sure that you get paid and you can afford to buy your plane ticket. And you're afraid there's going to be some kind of delay. Like you're, you're not going to be able to get time off of work or you won't have enough money to do it to cover expenses. Something has to be approved. Like you, you want vacation time. You know you need to do this. You're seeing synchronicities from the universe that you need to travel to this other location and do this thing, but you're not sure you're going to be able to do it. You're afraid it's not going to work. You're afraid it's not going to go through. You have to submit like approval. You have to ask your boss if you can take time off and they have to look at the schedule or something and you don't know if you're going to be able to get the time off from work. You know, it's, it's like that. You don't know if the plan is going to work out, but it does in week three. Something gets balanced out. You get the money that you need. You're able to take the time off. The decision goes in your favor. It's successful judgment. It works out. You know, if you're getting a divorce or whatever, it finally goes through, something like that. But it's it's something that works in your favor. And practicing stillness and silence is always a good idea. Listening to your intuition and trusting your clear perceptions about it, always a good idea. Patience and generosity and waiting patiently is a good idea. But it looks like you're going to be able to go towards something that you really want, that you're really attracted to. It's very lusty. It's very sexual. And we're going to get into it right now. So what's going on with between the lines for week number four with this magnetic attraction? Reading in between the lines, I just saw the moon and the seven of cups. Talk about implicit, vague, uncertainty, not sure, something that you don't see. Hidden meaning. Yeah, hidden meaning. The moon, the seven of cups. Definitely deceptive or hidden or secret, something going on behind the scenes new opportunity that could be very fruitful for you, but there's still something about it that's very mysterious. Eight of Pentacles, this could be due to do with work, somebody that you work with, something that you're working on is going to be successful. In week number four, what's this? The King of Cups, building up to this emotional release. Hold on, let's see what else. This could be a water sign that you're involved with or a Virgo. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, somebody is very, very patient, waiting. Waiting for you, working on this, investing in this. In investing the money in something that you really love, that you really want. It's only a matter of time. You're assessing it. Here's the Nine of Pentacles. And there's the Seven of Cups again with the Eight of Cups, Six of Wands. But there's the Ten of Cups. So there is some confusion about this, but you get answers you're going to end up leaving a, a confusing situation behind or it's only a matter of time before you get more information before you work your way through this you analyze it you assess you figure it out you solve the problem you solve the riddle the puzzle something makes you really happy there's an emperor two of cups here this relationship connection with this very stable, strong, emotionally intelligent, available, masculine figure. I see working on financial independence. It's only a matter of time before you work this out, especially when it comes to your finances. Something is definitely destabilizing, for sure. It's a shakeup. And maybe there is some, there's some fear. It's kind of scary, right? With the shakeup. But it actually ends up changing things for the better. You you have really good luck. You, you wor It works out really well for you in the end. You're really happy with the way that it turns out. There's like a happy ending here with the Two of Cups again. There's this lover, somebody that you're so, so attracted to. You get to spend time together. Yeah, you're getting together. You're spending time. You're really happy you're involved in or invested in something that you really, really want, that you really love, feels good. Your patience pays off. Slow and steady does win the race in this one. It's like you have to be patient. You have to wait for this process to go through. Something's processing, processing, like paperwork, like bureaucracy legal matters with finances it's like 
yeah. But in the meantime, you're going towards this. I think, hold on, let me get the sun. Yeah, you're, you're going towards this relationship that maybe you're not sure how it's going to work out or what exactly it's going to look like. There's still a lot that you don't know about this person. It could just be a new relationship or there's the emperor, the ace of pentacles. Yeah, it's like a it's like a new relationship, a new sense of security, especially financial or physical. Somebody's really wealthy or they just have a wealth of resources. They're also very emotionally generous and wealthy and available and communicative or intelligent. Emotionally invested in this. And really, really happy actually in the end. Like we said, creating a much happier situation for yourself. Something new. It's very worthwhile. So you have to let something go and walk away from something and this may not be easy. You may not know exactly how it's going to turn out, but if you're okay with some of that insert uncertainty, you may just walk straight into a really beautiful partnership, something that you really love that's going to make you really happy with somebody that's very attractive and it's reciprocal and very compatible with you. But you don't know the future and I feel like you just have to be okay with that for now and not try to force it and just let things let things um, develop naturally. Don't try to force it. Relax. Let life respond to you. Let people respond to you. Attract this to you. Have an open mind. You don't know everything it might not be as bad as you might think. If you're feeling fearful or pessimistic, it's, it's, um, it's going to be okay. It actually is going to be really great. You just don't see it yet. And you're being tested. This is like a test of your patience, a test of your spiritual, you know, uh, intelligence or development or something. It's testing you. This is uncomfortable. But you're actually going to be okay. It's kind of like relax, release the tension from your muscles. You're going to be okay. Get some sleep. Get some rest. Find peace within yourself. Meditate on unshakable inner peace. Whatever that means for you. Practice some Buddhism or something. Whatever works. Some yoga. That's what I like. So that's what I feel. But it could be anything. So long as it's your spiritual practice and it works for you. Your method. Your way. Yeah, that's just like be open, open minded. Someone's going to come towards you. They miss you. You're worried about this decision, but it's actually going to be great. And that's what I've got for you today, Libra. I hope this was helpful. I hope this was of service to you. If you enjoyed this and you'd like a personal reading, my email's in the description box below. You could email me. I'll let you know how it works. You let me know what you need. But in any case, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today. And I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye.